Today, I just wanted to give you a bit of a run through of Trend Micro's home network security product, which of course is a great little black box that plugs into your home internet connection and then protects all of the devices that are connected to that network. Let's just jump into the app here. What you do is you, you load the home network security app onto any iOS or Android device. And from there, you can manage all of the devices that are connected to your network at any time. Jumping straight through here, the first thing we see is the, uh, the timeline, which shows us uh, an event log of what's connected, when it's connected. And uh, if anything connects uh, while I was, for example, if I was online here and some, some new device connected to my home network, uh, I would actually receive an alert about that. We'll get more back to that, but let's have a quick look at what devices are currently connected to my network. Uh, and I'll show you how you can order these as well. Uh, straight away, I see the devices that I have on my network that I've identified. I've got a PlayStation 4 here, a PlayStation 3, uh, CCTV, uh, Apple TV, Foxtel, uh, Hopefully you've got lots of devices like this. Uh, I've got uh, an iPad that belongs to John. I've got a laptop that belongs to Sarah. Uh, Andy's desktop. Uh, and uh, this, uh, in fact, this device here is identified as well. Uh, a laptop that belongs to Marie. An iPad Pro that belongs to Tori. And we've got here a device which is unassigned. I'll jump back to that in a minute. So what, what you can do is quite quite well organized all of the devices are on your network so you see who belongs to what we'll jump into the family feature here and we can have all of the users we can set up on here and then we can start assigning devices to them so for example for me here's Andy we can see uh, jump into devices and I've got two devices which have been assigned to me which are connected to the home network uh, my desktop computer which I can see here is is actually uh, connected right now and uh, I'm just probably a little bit out of range for my, uh, my phone here to be connected to the network because I'm a little bit away from the house, but I've also got my phone. Now what's great also is for each user, you can set up uh, different types of uh, protection, time limits uh, or parental controls. Let's actually jump in and we'll have a look at one of the kids here. This is one of my, one of my actual favorite features that you, uh, you would use almost on a daily basis. So let's jump into uh, Marie. Now I know Marie, uh, she has a laptop. Now of course, uh, being a teenager, you probably want to know what's going on on that laptop. So that's where you can jump into settings here and you've got things like website filtering. Now by setting up your website filtering, you can, there's a couple of choices you can make. You can either choose to get notifications when certain types of websites are visited, or you can just straight out block any kind of uh, websites that you don't want them to visit. So what we're going to do is, uh, for her, because she's a teenager and I'd prefer to have a conversation with her about websites that she might uh, st stumble across that aren't appropriate, I'm going to choose to be notified when certain types of websites are visited. And then when I look down here, okay, I don't, I'm going to say uh, adult websites, dating websites, criminal or questionable websites, uh, illegal drugs websites. Now, Trend Micro has defined what those websites are, uh, which I guess is an evolving process. So what I will what will happen is if she visits a, a website on her laptop or on any of her devices, I should say, um, then I'll actually receive a notification for that user uh, telling me that she's visited those. And I can pop up and say, okay, what have you, let's have a look at what you visited and why it's not appropriate. Here I've got, um, I can also set up time limits. Again, great if you've got teenagers. Uh, again, I'm going to choose not to block access during certain times, um, but I just want to be notified. So I want to be notified if for some reason she's on the internet between 10 p.m. or 5 a.m. Or maybe I actually want to make that 6, uh, I want to make that 6 a.m. So between, uh, if she accesses the internet on her devices between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m., I'll receive a notification. I could actually also just choose to block the internet during that time. So for her, I'm just going to say, I want a notification, but maybe for uh, one of the younger kids, I'll jump in with Sarah. I don't want her on her, her iPad, for example, at uh, you know two o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to set a time limit and I'm just going to block internet access for her. I would say she's a bit younger. 
um, between 8 p.m. and 7 a.m. So we can do that and it's quite straightforward. Now let's go back and have a look. Like I said, you can have a list here of all the devices that are either currently connected to your network or have been connected before and identified. If you go to the bottom of that list, you'll find we have an unassigned device. So it's connected to the to the home network right now. And what, I, what you need to decide is if that um, device actually belongs to your network. Uh, and if it doesn't, you can uh, disconnect it. Maybe someone somehow managed to, uh, to log into your home Wi-Fi. Uh, but in this case, I see that it's, it's actually my Surface Pro 3, and I do want that. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to choose an owner, which is Andy, and then it will then appear in my list of devices. You can also uh, name each device, which is what I've done there. Uh, you'll find that many common devices like iPads or whatever will actually automatically come up with a name um, so they're easily identified. But generally, the, uh, uh, the um, home network security device is pretty good at identifying what type of device is, is, um, is connected, connected, and then you can identify who it belongs to from there. Because what you can do is then group, like I've done here, is group various devices together. So I've got shared devices, Foxtel, Apple TV, CCTV, that sort of thing. Uh, and then I've got devices that belong just to certain people in the household. And then for each of those devices, I can set rules by going back into family settings. I can go into any user, set up website filtering. I can also set up to get notifications uh, this is especially good for, uh, for mobile devices, maybe when certain types of apps are opened. Maybe, uh, again, we want to decide that I want to uh, tick off game, adult, social networking, shopping, media streaming, dating websites. I'm going to get now receive notifications for this particular user whenever they uh, access those types of apps on their device. So again, uh, specifically, that's really good for uh, for your, your iPads, uh, mobile devices, that sort of thing. So as you can see, it is really easy to use. Uh, great, you can customize it uh, with very different settings for each user because of course, uh, in, in, the, uh, in the case of my wife, uh, I'm not going to be putting up website filtering or, or time limits on her, but it is uh, great for the kids. So that's just some of the features of Trend Micro's home network security. Uh, again, there is um, just overall settings in here. Network protection is something you probably want to leave on all of the time. Uh, filtering out potentially dangerous websites. Again, protection for all of your devices and uh, receiving notifications when new devices are added. You definitely want that in there. Uh, for more information on, uh, on uh, home network security, of course, there's heaps on the Trend Micro website, trendmicro.com.au. Stay protected.